Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a change here. I was I was thinking about uh, going through all the minutia of what we did in the Senate. And first of all, I'm probably going to bore you to death. And second of all, I couldn't think of about two or three things that were really worth talking about. So uh, I do want to talk about something that's, that's extremely important, and that's what we're doing here today. Because uh, most of you guys know me because we've been through the trenches together year after year. We sit in these chairs, uh, monthly party meetings. And I started asking myself, why? It's beautiful outside today. There's a festival going on in Kennesaw. The golf courses are filling up. Why are we sitting here today and why do we see the same faces year after year after year doing the same thing? And it dawned on me when we were singing the national anthem because I still get goosebumps when I hear that song. Now you may think that's old-fashioned or old-timey, but I think we've got to focus ourselves back to those core principles that our founders founded this nation on. We live in the greatest nation on the face of the earth. we got problems. I'll be the first to tell you we've got issues. But we live in the greatest nation on the face of the earth. And it's not the greatest nation because we have the greatest government. It's not because we have the mightiest military. We're the greatest nation on the earth because of freedom. Freedom has to be what our focus is. We sit in here day after day, year after year, month after month. We come together because we love freedom. As we go forward from here, we're going to be making some decisions here today. Everyone has different ideas. But when we walk out of this room here today, we have to be unified. We have to be as one. If we're going to win this battle, if we're going to take this nation back to the vision that our founding fathers had, that a nation that is based upon the idea that all men, regardless of where they come from, their status or their color, can come here to this greatest nation and have freedom to pursue their, their most ambitious dreams with limited regulation from government, a government that is small in size, limited in scope, and derives its power from the people. In 1774, Thomas Jefferson was part of a committee, and they were discussing what were the most dangerous issues that were facing the nation during that time period. Scribble. I could go through all of these issues, and you would identify that they're the same issues that we are dealing with here today. But as they said in that committee, they said the most dangerous thing that is facing this nation and this colony is a lethargic people. That people are not aware of the dangers that are facing their liberties. Our job is to awaken a sleeping giant in this nation. To put people into office, both in our party and also in Washington, at the state capitol, in our local governments, in our school boards, that the most important thing that they understand is freedom, right. is liberty. As I go around and I speak about the heritage of our nation, I'm asking, this is an uphill battle. I mean, if you look at, at what's going on in Washington, you look at the administration, the continual loss of our rights, and there are people that I have served in, in the Republican Party with for years here today, and we can attest, we've been fighting this battle for years and years, and it seems like we're losing. But let me just close with telling you this because we are the greatest nation on the face of the earth and there's one thing about Americans that's different from the rest of the world and that's called American exceptionalism. We have a mentality that we cannot be defeated if we put our minds to doing and accomplishing anything. In World War II, as the waning years of World War II, the Germans broke through the Siegfried Line and they were annihilating our forces as they were coming through the Ardennes in a battle that my father fought in as a medic in the army. It's called the Battle of the Bulge. Americans started retreating back to the rear because the Panzer tanks were annihilating our units and even our tanks, our Sherman tanks, began to retreat in what the GIs called the Great Bug Out. It seemed that there was nothing that could stop that German onslaught. But there was one tank was going down a road and it was near the town of St. Vith and as they were heading down the road looking for the rear, they saw this one lone GI who was beside the road, he had a shovel, and he's just casually digging a foxhole with a rifle slung over his back, all by himself. The tank commander turned, turned off the road, and he hollered over at the private. He said, can you tell me, how, is this the way to get to the rear of the lines? The private stopped digging, he looked at him, and he said, sir, are you looking for somewhere safe? 
The tank commander said, yeah. He said, well, pull that tank behind me. I'm 82nd Airborne, and this is as far as the Germans are going to get. <laughs> That one long private, Private Martin, so inspired that tank commander, he turned the tank around, and as other units began to retreat, they made that point a stronghold. We need Private Martins today. We need to say, no longer are we going to give up any more of our liberties, no longer are we going to give up any more of our freedoms. Today is a new starting point. Today is when we dig our foxhole, and we start advancing and taking back what Washington has taken from us, our liberties, our freedoms. We are one nation under God, and we've been blessed because we've acknowledged it when other nations have turned their back on Him. Amen. I want to, we've got a lot to be proud of as Georgians. We have good elected officials in our, in our General Assembly. We have good delegates that, that represent us in Washington, but we do have to hold them accountable. I want to thank you. God bless you. God bless America. And let's continue to fight together, unified as one voice and one body when we come out of here today. God bless you.